coming at you with an important consumer alert. Welcome to Sewing Report Live. I am Jen, and I'm here with an emergency broadcast because there's something you should know about about this online e-learning platform called Domestica. I'm seeing a lot of online buzz from customers claiming they have been scammed by this company, and this looks like somewhat of a craftsy situation. So I'm going to break down what I know right now and tell you what is going on. So what is Domestica? Domestica is this e-learning platform. It's a bit like Craftsy from what I can tell. Now, I have never tried it before, but it advertises itself as one of those things where you can quote unquote join for free. You can get the plus membership or you can sign up for individual courses and anything from like Craftsy stuff to Adobe to graphic design, all kinds of stuff. So this does seem a bit like Creative Bug or like Craftsy. And right now as I'm taping this, the courses are advertised as being $5.99 per course. And it does say that you can buy them individually and you don't have to purchase the subscription. So here's what Domestica is. And this is the plus subscription. So it says it's like, a yearly payment of $99.99 per month, or you can, you know, it works out to be $8.33 per month if you pay annually, or you can pay monthly for $15.99 per month. So I first found out about what was going on on this uh, Reddit post in the Craft Snark subreddit. So someone posted something a few days ago that says, domestic a scam, and I was like, what's, what's going on with this? So I decided to look into this and here is what I found out. So somebody had posted saying that they bought a course, you know, obviously for a much discounted price, and then they were charged for the premium subscription, the plus subscription, even though they did not authorize that and they did not sign up for it. So I was like, well, that's pretty interesting. And they're basically saying, you know, I didn't sign up for anything. And then when I checked my you know, order, like they said they were charged $99. So this customer must be in the United States. And they said they did not authorize this at all. Or did they, they also got no notification that they were going to be paying for this. And they said it's impossible to contact customer support. And a lot of other people on this post were saying the same thing happened to them as well. So I was like, well, that's pretty strange. So I decided to look into this. So it does seem like everywhere I've been going online, there have been customers complaining about this same exact thing. They purchased just a course or a few courses and they were charged for the full plus, you know, annual subscription. So I also found there's now a Facebook group called like Domestic Scam. Like literally there's a whole Facebook group for this. And a lot of people are talking about it in there as well. So I'm going to be sharing this here. So here is the Facebook group. And this actually had some good information. People were saying, like, a lot. it seems to be happening to, a, happening to a large amount of people in other countries, you know, around the world, not just in the United States. So some people were kind of talking about what happened with them. And some folks, you know, you could either pay with a credit card or you could pay with PayPal. And, um, you know, I'm seeing a lot of interesting information. And there is a featured post in here about what, you know, what you can do. And they're basically telling people to leave reviews, every, you know, review bomb them. There are also some people in this group are also saying that uh, Domestica is removing comments, negative comments on social media. So I was like, well, that's pretty strange. So this is what's going on. And yeah, there's a Facebook group. There's also a lot of complaints hitting and all of these links are in the description box. If you want to check them out for yourself, there are a lot of complaints rolling into their better business bureau page. Now I know apparently the BBB is kind of useless, but I am seeing a lot of people writing about their experiences here. Yeah. Like, look, like initial complaint. And all of these complaints rolled in within like the past month or, you know, month or so. Actually, yeah, this person, it even happened in December. So this has been happening for a few months now. People are basically saying they purchased classes and then 
they have been charged for the full subscription. And I'm seeing payments of anywhere from like like $80 to $100. So I'm not sure, sure why different people are being charged different amounts. And yeah, so this, yeah, look at this person says, Domestica offered me a free month to try Domestica Plus. I didn't like it and canceled the service before the month. Minutes later, I received a charge for a full price for a year. I canceled the service and they charged me for no reason. I didn't want the service. It was a lot of money. So a lot of complaints of this nature. And I'm also seeing a lot of people complaining. Oh, yeah, let me check it out because there is a lot of complaints on their trust pilot page as well. So there's a lot like I'm I kind of was trying to like vet whether or not these were valid. And it does seem like indeed these this is happening to quite a few different people. And I'm like, OK, well, that's pretty strange. So here is the trust pilot page. And you can also see a lot of people are saying the same thing. Domestica will scam you. I bought a course from Domestica and was automatically and unknowingly signed up for a, to a premium subscription trial. I only found this out when the annual fee left my account after the trial ex expired. Uh, seriously underhanded tactics at play and no apparent customer service to help resolve the issue. I bought many courses from Domestica previously, but this has undermined any trust I had with the company. I would never recommend this. Uh, the company as such tactics are no different uh, than robbery. So again, same thing. So there's like a lot of people. Oh, this person says they were charged 130. Okay, this person has some very strong language here, but a lot of the same type of thing. So a lot of people claiming they were scammed and that they did not sign up for the subscription. I don't know if this, and here's the thing. I did reach out to Domestica on Instagram and I was like, hey, I'm seeing a lot of these types of customer complaints. Can you explain what happened? You know, what are you going to do about it? So I did write to them. They have two different Instagram accounts. They have one main account with like 4 million followers and then they have an English account and I messaged them both places. So if I do hear back from them or if I have any new information on this story, I will be leaving a pinned comment down below. So check for any of the latest there. But you can see like tons and tons of people saying they were charged for the subscription without their permi permission. So they didn't sign up for this, you know, and they didn't even sign like it's not like they signed up for a free trial either. So I'll show you what happened when I checked out the Domestica site. So I kind of was just trying to see like what would happen if you tried to buy a course. So here I'll go to the main page here and you can see again, these prices are very attractive. It's like, oh, try it out for five, you know, buy a course for $5.99. All right, so let me just add something to my cart. Any, I'll do like the art of sketching here. So let me, let me stick this in the cart here. All right, so it says you can continue shopping or check out. So I'll try to check out and I'll show you the page here because it doesn't have anything about like you can even see this. It says we'll charge five dollars and ninety nine cents to your card. You have 14 days to request a refund. So it says and also it says like, what are you buying? It just says unlimited access to all purchase courses whenever you want. So it doesn't say you're signing up for the subscription. It doesn't say that at all. So you can either pay with a credit card or you can pay with uh, PayPal. I'm obviously not going to go through with this because I don't want this platform to have my information at all. But yeah, when you go to this page, it doesn't say anything about signing up for the subscription or that you will be charged. Well, you know, once it, like it's not it doesn't say anything like that. It looks like you're just signing up for the course. So I was like, well, this is pretty, pretty strange, right? So. Let's check out the Domestica English Instagram page because I was like trying to see if people were leaving comments on social media. So some folks have said on the main Domestica account, like the, the one with the 4 million followers, that they've been removing, removing negative comments and even blocking customers. This one they don't seem to have hit up yet. So if you go to like their most recent post, check it out. You can see tons and tons of people all also echoing that they have been charged for the subscription and they did not sign up for this. So there's a lot of people saying the same type of thing. All right, let's view hidden comments. Okay, yeah, same thing. So look at all of these comments of people saying that they have been charged and they're basically, they're obviously not very happy. And this is on like all of the most recent posts 
basically calling Domestica scammers. And I don't know how this company, I don't know if they're monitoring this account or I don't know if because it was the weekend, maybe they weren't really checking. So a lot of posts of this uh, nature here of everyone saying that they were charged and they're looking for a refund. They're pretty upset though. This is obviously not great. I mean, I wouldn't want my credit card to be charged $99.99 without my knowledge or permission. That's not very cool. So I was like, well, that's very strange. And then when you go to like the Domestica regular accounts, this is the one with the 4.3 million followers. Like it, okay, okay, this person was able to, this one it was able to get through. But I saw some folks saying on different platforms that their comments were removed off of Instagram and that they were even blocked by Domestica. I don't think that's a great way to handle things from a social media perspective. Some customers in the Facebook group were saying that when they did DM them on like Facebook or Instagram that they did actually get a response of the company saying, we'll refund you. But here's the thing, and this person was basically giving instructions. But when you go to the Domestica website, here, I'll go back here. There's like no, there's no contact information for the company. Here, let me go back to the homepage here. So I did find that kind of sketchy. So if you go to the bottom, usually there's like a, you know, this is where like a contact us would be or something. So there's a contact page, so it says info contact, but then when you click on it, there's no actually, like, okay, there's a phone number you can call. Domestica headquarters apparently is in Berkeley, California, uh, but there is no, again, I guess you could try calling them, but there's no email address or, like, even a contact us form or anything. So it says the best way to contact us is through our form, but there's no, there's no form. So I thought that was kind of strange. Yeah, there's nothing there. And then it says, go to the help section. And then when you go to the help section, there's no way to contact them either. It's just like a, you know, a loop of like, you know, one of those like, hey, go to this page if you're having this issue. So that's what I do find a little bit sketchy about this company. Now, I've never bought anything from them. I, I think I've heard of it before, but I obviously am not a customer. But this seems very similar to what happened with Craftsy and with all of those other like online learning platforms where they kind of lure you in with this introductory price and then they kind of bank on you not remembering to renew or anything like that and then they charge you for like a hundred bucks the next year even though it was like five dollars the year before. But what's strange about this situation with Domestica is that all of these customers are saying they did not even sign up for a, like a free trial membership or sign up to authorize this at all. So I don't know if this was a mistake or if maybe this, you know, again, I don't really know what went down from the company side of things. So that is why I reached out to them to see if they could explain, maybe they had an explanation. I don't know. I do want to give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe it was an error. I have no idea, but it is strange that there's like no way to really contact them other than leaving comments on their social media and trying to send a DM. When I sent the DM, I just got like an auto response here and I'll actually show you the DM that I, I'll, I'll show you the DM I sent them. And I sent them the same message to both, I sent the same message to both accounts. So this is what I sent them. And yeah, it was the same. So basically I was just like, you know, hey, I'm Jennifer at the Sewing Report. You know, I'm reaching out after seeing many complaints from customers. There are quite a few posts. I'd like to give you a chance to explain what happened and provide information on what effect a customer should do if they were charged for the subscription but did not want or uh, sign up for it. So some people are saying the company has said that they will get refunds, and I do hope those people get refunds. If you are a domestic a customer and this happened to you, let me know in the comments what's going on. Did you get a response from them? Are you getting a refund? And I do want to point out, so some folks in that Domestica Scam Facebook group said that they tried to dispute the charge on their credit card or with PayPal. So here's the thing with that. And I've dealt with this before as well, just in different situations. If you dispute a credit card charge or if you dispute it with PayPal, then from that point on, the company actually has to deal directly with either your credit card company 
or with PayPal, and they can't just issue a refund like the simple way. So I don't know what, what the best avenue is, but it may take longer to get a refund by like filing a credit card dispute. Again, I don't know if this company, I don't know if this company has been good with issuing the refunds, but once you, once you take the step of disputing with a credit card or with PayPal, then, you know, you're kind of leaving, it's out of your hands at that point. And the company can't deal directly with you anymore. So just want to put that out there that if the company has been working with customers directly to issue refunds, it might be worth waiting a few days just for that to go through. Because if you, when you file a dispute with your credit card company, it gets a bit more complicated. Obviously, mer uh, merchants really don't want credit card chargebacks because that can affect them negatively as well. So they do usually try to work with the customer before it gets to that point. But I do want to just point out that if you are going that route, um, it may be a little more, you know, again, I'm just seeing a lot of people very unhappy. But when you do file a dispute with the credit card company, then it's a little bit more complicated for the company to, for you to end up getting that refund is what I'm saying. Uh, another thing I do want to point out, and uh, I got a lot of people talking about this. I did a few videos about Craftsy's whole thing. And a lot of folks were saying, hey, why don't you, you know, well, if my card expires or if I get a new credit card, it's really not a problem because then the company will not have my new information. And that's actually not really true. So I found out that company that if you like do a subscription or anything like that, and it's like on auto renew or any, you know, anything of that nature, uh, the merchant can actually get your updated credit card info, even if you don't provide it yourself. So I know that's kind of like, you're like, whoa, how is that? How did they do that? Because I believe that happened to me with Craftsy. So there's something called the account updater program and most credit cards do have this. So basically it's like for retailers who rely on reoccurring payments or cards on file, they can actually, so basically the, your credit card company will notify merchants like Domestica or Craftsy of changes to customer cards and they will provide the new information to these companies even if you don't give it to them. So if you really don't want, you again, you may want to take the extra step and hard cancel that subscription for whatever it is. But again, I do think it's a little strange that Domestica doesn't have contact information on the website or any like real way, good way to contact them other than you trying to DM them on social media, which is kind of strange. But I do want to just let you know that, um, again, if you... One, I would warn and caution anyone from signing up for these types of things, especially where it's like, sign up for the first year and it's only $2 and then $200 every year after. Anything like that should be a little bit of a red flag to you. And that's one of the reasons why I canceled my Craftsy subscription was because I just found that a little bit sketchy. And I do find, you know, I'm not real into any of them. Craftsy, Creative Bug, this Domestica thing, I would not sign up for. There's also others like there's like Sewer Circle or like Quilter Circle. And I believe that company also owns Craftsy now. So anything where you see them like adver like giving you a an alarmingly low price to try them out, then they have your data and they got your payment information. And then you can see situations like this, but it's kind of a mess. And I'm curious to see how Domestica will respond. I really don't think the way to go is blocking customers on social media and deleting the comments. I do think they should probably issue a statement or say something publicly, maybe explain what happened. I don't know if it was a mistake. Maybe they didn't mean to do this, but it's obviously a big snafu here. And a lot of customers, rightfully so, are not very happy with this company. And again, this can erode consumer trust because people aren't going to want to try you out if they see all of these horror stories. And I'm seeing tons and tons of bad reviews about Domestica on all of these platforms like Trustpilot and uh, the Better Business Bureau. So just a bit of a consumer alert. I wanted to tell everyone, especially since, you know, 
there's a, there's a bit of time between weeks, so I thought I would just do a standalone video about this. But if you have been affected by this, let me know what if this was resolved or what happened with you. But I'm Jen with the Sewing Report Live, and I will see you again on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time.